Hey all, I uh, hope you're well. So, as you can tell from the videos and the photos there, I've recently been to the Lake District. That was a couple of weeks ago now. Um, it's definitely somewhere I'd recommend if you live in the UK and you've never been before. You know, it's just so beautiful and scenic. Every direction you look at, there's something that makes you kind of go, oh, wow. Yeah, it's, it's very beautiful. Um, obviously, we lucked out with the weather when we went. I went for a long weekend, um, drove up on the Thursday. It was like a six, six and a half hour drive from me. Um, stayed Friday, Saturday, come back on Sunday. So it didn't go for too long, but enough to get a couple of decent walks in and um, take a few pictures and whatnot. And just the main reason I went, to be honest with you, was just to catch up with a few friends. I don't get to see very often due to us all living all across the country. And um, yeah, I knew I wanted to travel light, so I was kind of toying with either taking my Fujifilm X100V with the Rolecord VA, or taking my Fujifilm GFX50R, the medium format digital camera, with just like an, a, a small little Olympus Trip 35 to shoot some 35mm film. Um, I weighed up the different cameras just to see which was heavier because I knew I wanted to travel light, and actually they were both coming out very similar weights, combined weights. So I just put a poll on my Instagram, um, just asking other people what cameras would you take, and the Fujifilm X100V uh, with a rolly cord came out on top, and actually that was a tiny, very smidgen, little bit lighter, so that's the uh, combination I ended up bringing. Um, obviously the X100V is a great camera for, for traveling and walking about with because it's just so light, you know, I just most of the time walked around with it dangling around my neck and you can barely feel it's there and you know obviously the image quality is really great for such a small you know APS-C fixed lens camera. I use it with the uh, wide angle adapter because I just prefer 28 over 35 um, when shooting. And then I brought the Rolecord called VA. Um, I put a roll of Kodak Gold in there on the Friday morning. And actually the whole time we were walking about, I think I only shot like five, five photos the whole time. And one of them was just a repeat of one of the photos where I did two different settings to see which would come out best. But then obviously when I got back, I still had some pictures left in the camera. So I um, went to my in-laws to pick up my children. Um, and just finished off the role there with you know my kids and my in-laws and just just so I could de develop it and see the pictures that I did take. <laughs> now do your pose again. Take it. How do you do it? You just not yet. In focus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Three, two, one. I'll call David. You take the picture. David. Go. But yeah, thanks for watching this one, guys. Um, I'm also working on a photography-based app at the moment, a new social media app, um, which I'm going to announce hopefully within the next week or two. Um, it, it's going to be like a Kickstarter campaign, but I'm very, very excited about this. Instagram, in my opinion, is just dead, and I'm going to either A, stop using it altogether, or B, stop using it as a photo sharing you know, platform just because they're not pushing photos anymore. For photographers, I don't think Instagram is the way forwards. Fred's obviously new, exciting at the moment, but it is just kind of Twitter slash Facebook combined with Instagram. It's, it's still not what as a photographer I want and what as a photographer I think many other people want. So I'm excited to tell you about the idea I have and the concept for bringing it to reality. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys hopefully very soon. Bye from me and Dave.